Well, now that they're no longer making pledge, what are we going to do in the future? See what I did there? That's some quality work, ain't it? All kidding aside, Johnson's, the company that makes Pledge, uh, announced January of 2022 that they would no longer be making Pledge, or as we used to call it, Future. Uh, and I've done several videos in the past talking about using this in modeling. Uh, one of the videos was just kind of a general usage video that talked about why you might uh, find it helpful, conditions to use it in, just kind of all about the general use. And then I did another video uh, a while later that talked about uh, airbrushing pledge and how to use it and when to use it and, and you know, more specific to airbrushing. Both of those uh, people have said they find very helpful. But again, now that it's no longer being made, people have started asking me, well, do you have a recommendation for a substitute? So I thought uh, this video would be a helpful follow-up. Now, before I get fully into the video subject for today, I do want to say thank you to all the people who have sent me uh, very kind notes and encouragement. Um, I have been sick for all of the month of January. Not COVID, not flu, just a sinus infection. And now, unfortunately, it seems to be moving into, my, uh, into a respiratory infection. Um, and I just can't seem to shake it. Uh, so it's really hampered my ability to do anything. Um, but I wanted, I've been wanting to do this one. And um, even though I want to sound a little short of breath, uh, I just thought it would be fun to do this because so much of this month has not been fun. But thank you so much for all of the kind words, the encouragement, the notes, especially the prayers that so many of you ha have been sharing with me and contacting me about. And in a couple of videos that I had posted on YouTube and Instagram, just a very brief video, I had just said, hey, you know, um, if, if you got time, go check out some of my other videos. And y'all really did that. Um, and it meant a whole lot to me. Uh, so thank you for, for all of that, that kindness and that encouragement and your prayers. And I would, I would ask you to please continue with that because um, I'm still, still fighting this, this bug, whatever it is. So uh, hopefully uh, before too long, uh, I'll have it behind me and can get back to whatever it is that I call normal. Now I'll go into a huge amount of detail about the, the whys and the hows and all of that in terms of using Pledge. Uh, those other videos are out there. Uh, they should have been little pop, there should have been little pop outs that came up uh, if I remembered. And if not, they will be linked in the description below. So if you're wanting a more deep dive into how you would use this product, where you would use it, why you would use it, and all of that, uh, please check those out. Uh, this, this I want to <laughs> try and keep it short, um, but uh, those will explain that. But uh, it's kind of hard to have videos out there that people are looking at and going, hey, this, this looks like stuff I would like to use, but if it's no longer produced, what can I do? Now, as soon as they announced that they were no longer making it, I wasn't too worried about it um, because, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, uh, I overbought uh, Pledge or Future, depending on how, which one you want to call it. Um, and I've still got plenty of bottles of that that will last me probably for years. Um, so I, I'm, I'm well covered for that. But other people were asking me, hey, I like the idea behind this. I see that I could get some utility from this, but now you can't get it. What should I do? Well, at the time, uh, or this, it was about this time last year, I, I didn't think much about it, um, but I started seeing over the course of 2022 uh, other people, other creators on forums and things like that suggesting other products. Certainly, just going to hobby-specific gloss products works just fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with using those. But I started seeing uh, the same name, the same product pop up over and over that people were saying, hey, this is one that I found that works. So I thought I'd give it a test. Now, the one that kept popping up over and over the name is Holloway House Quick Shine. 
Uh, you can see that's in this green package here. Uh, I got this at Walmart here in the U.S. Uh, if I remember right, it was seven dollars. wasn't really expensive. Um, it's it's a floor care product. It's an acrylic floor care product. I looked at the list of ingredients. I compared it to what was in Pledge, and while they differ slightly, um, I thought, well, given one, the number of people who are saying this is working for them and seeing how similar the ingredients are, I thought at the very least it's worth a try so that I can come back and say, hey, this works or this didn't work um, and is a good possible successor for Pledge. So I thought I'd give it a shot. If nothing else, I figured we could use it on our floors. Now, my thinking in using it was simple enough. I've used Pledge for years. Uh, when I got back into modeling in 2006, that was one of the first products that, that non-modeling products that people said, oh, you got to try this stuff out. And I started using it. I've used it literally hundreds of times. I've painted it on. I've airbrushed it on. I've used it to thin paints. I've used it to glue on canopies. I've used it for so many things. So I'm very comfortable with its usage, its limitations, um, its application, all of that. And I thought, well, the acid test will simply be to use it in the same way that I do with Pledge and see how it works. Now, the first thing I noted when I started looking at the Quick Shine product, I poured a little out into a cup uh, to use for initially for some brushing on. I noticed that it's not clear like Pledge. I didn't really feel like that was a problem though, because in many countries, Pledge they actually used a slightly different formula because in many countries they don't allow for products like that to be clear so that kids don't think that it's water and therefore try to drink it. Instead, they make it look like milk because that way they won't put it in their cereal. But anyway, <laughs> um, I saw this and, and that's not really a problem, so I wasn't too worried about that. But the first thing I did uh, is I thought, well, I'll just brush this on. Now, the footage that you're going to see in the background is some that I'd actually done for a Patreon exclusive video. And uh, right now, just to make it a little easier on me, I'm just going to use some of that footage as background for while I talk about uh, using this. But when I brushed it on, I brushed it on just like I do with Pledge. Um, with Pledge, I always brushed it on in a fairly heavy coat, making sure to spread it around. I didn't do any kind of uh, very thin coats or multiple applications. Pledge always self-leveled very nicely, but for something to self-level, there has to be some self there. In other words, there's got to be some substance to level out. So I applied it heavy enough so that it would be able to self-level, but not so much that it clogged detail. It takes a little experience to find that point, but it's not hard to find. I did the exact same thing with the, the uh, Quick Shine and it worked just fine. It, it leveled out very nicely. In fact, I, I felt like it may be leveled out a little nicer than Pledge. Pledge, while it would go on very nice, there was a fine line between too little and too much. And uh, you could get a little bit of thickness from it, occasional bubbling and things like that that were hard to get rid of. Um, the quick shine seemed to level out just a little nicer. Um, and I don't think it was just a perception bias uh, in trying a new product. It really did seem like that it, it, it self-leveled nicer. It wasn't quite as glossy, but it was more than glossy enough for things like decal applications, washes, and other things like that. So brushing it on uh, seemed to go very well. So I was quite happy with my tests uh, in that regard. Now, of course, the other test is uh, airbrushing. And as I've said, I've, I've airbrushed this on to hundreds of models, especially when I was doing aircraft models. I rarely did not put on a gloss coat of pledge prior to doing decals and washes and things like that. So it's it's something that I've done over and over and over again. So I figured if I started trying this, this Quick Shine product, I would be able to see fairly quickly how did it compare to airbrushing Pledge on. 
Now, one thing to keep in mind, whether you're using Pledge or as I've found with this Quick Shine, um, these products are perfectly well diluted, not diluted, but diluted right out of the bottle. You don't need to thin them. People always ask me, what should I thin it with? What should I thin it with? Nothing. Um, you don't need to thin it. They airbrush beautifully. In fact, if you thin them, it tends to degrade the performance of the product. So use them right out of the bottle. And that's what I did with this Quick Shine. I put some in my airbrush and I just began spraying it on. Now the key that I learned when it comes to airbrushing Pledge is you don't want to do that. I've seen some creators describe a process where you put on a light coat, a key coat, kind of a mist coat, so that it has something to stick to and then put on a heavier coat. That's almost a surefire way to get orange peel, to get a less than smooth finish. You don't need to worry about Pledge or this Quick Shine sticking. It's some of the stickiest stuff in the universe, so it's going to stick. The problem with trying that method where you put on a light coat and then a heavier coat later is that first light coat, it has nothing, it, there's not enough for it to level out. And so that's why when it dries, people tend to say, well, I got this kind of lumpy looking finish, this kind of very unsmooth, uh, almost like the skin of an orange uh, kind of finish. It's not, or an orange peel finish is not describing a color, but a texture. So that's what people mean when they describe that. There's a point with airbrushing pledge that you want to get it wet enough that it's definitely a wet coat, but you don't want it to be a, a runny coat. What you're looking for is going to take some experience, but it's wet enough that it will level out and dry smooth, but it's not so much that it's going to clog up any detail. Practice on a non-production model and uh, you'll see over time what that is. Again, it's not like it's going to take hours and hours and hours and hours of practice. You can see pretty quickly where the line is between wet enough that it dries out nicely and too wet or too dry. You can see that. So don't, don't overthink it, but it's better to lean towards a more wet coat applied over the model than, than a drier coat. And that's exactly what I did with the Quick Shine. Now, interestingly, the Quick Shine did not, as it, as when I brushed it on, it did not, the first coat did not come out as shiny as Pledge did. But I thought that it leveled out nicer than Pledge did, and it gave a very good coat. And I seemed to be able to back down from being quite as wet and not get an orange peel effect. Now I'm sure there's a point where you can back down too much and you'll start getting that effect. But it was much more forgiving than Pledge, in my opinion. And Pledge has always been a very forgiving product anyway. So I was quite encouraged by this. Now, it was not as glossy. I would I would describe the first coat that I put on as leaning more towards the glossy side of satin rather than gloss. But sometimes when it comes to putting on decals or putting on washes, that's really all you need. Um, just something that's more glossy than not. You don't want it to be matte, but something that's a little bit of a shiny satin, that can be enough. And then happily, in my further tests, I was able to put on additional coats over that to build up the shine as, as I went along. So if I needed something more glossy, um, say for decals, or if I wanted to get particular effects or things like that, then it worked really well in doing that. Now, just as the case was with Pledge, I, I've never advocated seeing Pledge or in my tests of this Quick Shine product as a final gloss coat. If you want a super shiny model with a super shiny gloss coat, you're going to need to use a modeling specific or something that's designed to be a high gloss product. That's not what this stuff is. This is a utility gloss coat. This is a coat, like I've said, for decals, for washes, for things like that, to seal things in. So if, if you're saying, well, this isn't as shiny, if I want to do, say, my car modelers, a lot of times ask me, can I use this for really shiny cars? 
if you're wanting really super shiny cars, you know, that shiny finish where you look like you can just stick your finger in it like it's water. I don't think it'll do that for you, but neither could Pledge. So I wouldn't recommend it in those cases. I also noted that the product dried very fast, just like Pledge. Um, when I first started using Pledge, and I talked about this in those other two videos, people would say, oh, you need to, you need to let it dry 24 hours, 48 hours. You need to let it dry for a week. And uh, it was my wife using some on our floors and then walking on it 45 minutes later that led me to think, hmm, if we can walk on this stuff after 45 minutes, we can probably put decals on it sooner than a week. So the, the quick shine seemed to be the same way. It seemed to be very workable and ready to go with a very short drying time. Now that said, it doesn't hurt to let it sit overnight, but certainly you don't have to do something extended in terms of time period to let it dry. It seems perfectly willing to go within about an hour. And off camera, I did a few tests of just applying some normal modeling type thinners. Um, I used acrylic thinner. I used uh, some odorless enamel thinner. I used some enamel thinner, um, just different things like we would use. As you would expect, acrylic thinners are going to be a little more caustic on it than, than uh, the enamel thinners were. Enamel thinners, the ones I tested, were uh, the Weber's Terpenoid. That didn't seem to have any problems with it. And some AK Odorless Thinner. That didn't seem to have any problems. What I would recommend is if you're using it for the first time and you're, you're wanting to try out uh, some other thinners, Humbrol or uh, any kind of Tamiya enamel thinners or anything like that, test it on something else first. Um, I'm never an advocate of using a lot of thinners over some kind of gloss coat like this because you're just asking for potential trouble. But it seems to be as durable as Pledge so that normal application of thinners and things like that to use for oil cleanup or decal setting solutions seem to be just fine. But test it before you use it to make sure. Now, I did not test whether use, I, I get asked this a lot, but I did not test whether alcohol would strip it because the reason I never bother testing that is if you try to use alcohol to strip off the gloss coat, you're probably gonna strip off the paint beneath it. I don't care what kind of paint it is. So uh, I, I would not recommend using alcohol. But again, if you wanna try it, test it on something that's not production. Well, I know this has just been a fairly quick talk um, with demonstration being from an older video, but hopefully you'll forgive me in this case because I just didn't feel up to doing another full demonstration of the product, especially given how successful my tests were. But I have no problem recommending this Holloway House Quick Shine, and, and they're not paying me to say this. They have no idea who I am. I just know people ask, and I want to be able to direct them to something. I have no problems recommending this as a replacement for Pledge. Um, and again, if you're, if you're thinking, why would you get something like that? I'm not saying if you're already happy with your gloss coat to grab something like this, but if you're in need of an affordable, good working, easy to use gloss coat, and you've already got some of this maybe under your sink anyway, waiting to go on the floors, get you a little squeeze bottle, get some of this in there, and you've got gloss coat for days. This, this and Pledge are the only gloss coats I use because they work so well in so many applications. Well, thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you're here watching at the end. Um, I know it's probably a little awkward watching an old man talk about floor polish while he's gasping for air, <laughs> but hopefully I'll be getting better soon so that, you know, I can go back to the usual Bob Euchre level of performance that I do in my videos. <laughs> Thank you to everybody for your subscribing, for your watching, for your giving me the likes. Uh, special thanks to all of those folks who support me on Patreon. I am really grateful for that. I've had some changes in my tiers there. Um, so hopefully uh, you'll go check that out and uh, see if maybe there's something that you might be interested in to help support uh, the work that I do. And with all that being said, I'll leave you with one final thought, as I always like to do. In this hobby, if you're not having fun, even when you're sick, 
you're doing it wrong. Happy day to you, friends. Bye-bye.